Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you. We really appreciate you. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, Amen. What will make Sunday Igboho drop agitation for Odudua Nation? Tunde Bakari. Tunde Bakari, we know he's the general overseer of the Citadel Global Community Church. And um, he speaks um, regarding politics as well. He's just um, made a shocking revelation. What will make Sunday go or drop the agitation for Dudua Nation? We know even when um, the Southwest governors came to declare that um, they are not in support of Dudua Nation, that has not um, deterred uh, um, these activists, Sunday Igboho. To, to throw away this agitation. They all just uh, responded, they all just reacted to what um, Southwest governors stated that, well, that um, if that is um, the way Southwest governors want to go, they want to play politics, Odudua Nation is still going to emerge. Even um, the array, um, um, the array on Akankafo of um, Yoruba land, Iba Gani Adams, he even went on a seven days, seven days, uh, 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 um, he did it seven days consecutively to curse those Yoruba leaders, the Southwest leaders who stood against, who are standing against Odudua nation. And he told them that they will regret this one way or the other. Even Professor Banji, Akinto, he had the same thing. But it's interesting to know that uh, there is really something that will make Igboho drop this agitation in the midst of all we know he has gone through a lot right from when um, he started this course you know he started it's all started by him giving an ultimatum to Fulani headsmen um, in his own community in the Barapa community in Oyo state he asked them to evacuate from there that uh, when even after the evacuation notice things were still getting worse Fulani headsmen were still hacking people to death they were still attacking farmers and then the way the country was being run at that point in time, Sunday Igboho came out uh, uh, on a very passionate video where he did. He was speaking Yoruba in that video. That was when he declared that enough is enough. Enough is enough. We can't take this anymore. How long are we going to be slaves? What have we done? What crime have we committed that we're being treated this way? If you look at all of um, the, the uh, agencies, all of the federal agencies, all of the appointees, appointment, they are all northerners. Check them. All northerners. More than 80% all northerners. That what is going on? We can't be part of this. That was when he made the call that now we move. This agitation, it didn't start this um, year. Odudua Nation has been on. Even Biafra did not start this year. But because of the bad shape of the country, the way things have just um, gone very bad, very, very bad, that um, brought about all of this. And, you know, that was when Igbo was stated that the UN, they've been notified. He's gone into, he's gone far with it. A lot has been going on. They've been holding rallies uh, in different states, going all around just to sensitize the people about this move. And they are very positive that um, Odudua Nation will emerge regardless of um, anything, uh, any obstacle against them. Even some monarchs are against it. Some monarchs spoke against it. Yoruba monarchs that spoke against them, Odudua Nation, that it's not done like this. They need to consult um, some oracles first before Odudua Nation can emerge. Some even stated that only Sunday Boa cannot declare Odudua Nation that it will not happen. It needs to be the monarchs. Uh, they all sit together and decide that, yes, it is time. Well, in spite of all of that, the attacks on Sunday Boa, the burning of his house, though all of those did not stop his uh, pursuit. Tunde Bakari has just made a shocking revelation of what will make Sunday Boa drop his agitation. We'll bring all of that to you in a moment. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. The overseer of the Citadel Global Community Church, Pastor Tunde Bakari, has stated that Yoruba activist Sunday Igboho and other agitation will drop their grievance when they see things getting better in the country. Nigerian News reports that Sunday Igboho and other Yoruba youth have been calling for a creation of a separate nation called Odudua Republic. Speaking to BBC Yoruba, Tunde Bakari said such agitations as a result of the state of affairs in the country. I've never seen Sunday Igboho. This is the time he's supposed to come see me, but he's unable to come. But he has met with some prominent Nigerians, he said. If things were okay, people could feed themselves, 
have good jobs, no kidnapping. Before, nobody was asking for what Sunday Igboho is agitating for presently. But I know that when the time is right, people will say Yoruba leaders alerted them because now the elders have not told them to ask for Odua Republic. We should find a way of making Nigeria progress. We can't leave our country for another. We have to take the stand and make Nigeria work. When separatized groups see that things are getting better in the nation, they will drop their grievances. Clearly, um, Tunde Bakare is not um, also in support of um, the breakaway. He likes the country, Nigeria. You know, even of recent, uh, um, a proposal was put before the House of Assembly in the midst of um, this um, constitutional review that is ongoing. That one of the problems the country is facing is that um, the name Nigeria should be changed. That that is one of the problems. But uh, it's been argued. Reactions have come after that. That no way. The name Nigeria is not the problem. The leaders. Even if you change the name and the bad leaders are still there. The corrupt leaders are still there. It won't change anything. It won't change anything. You need to change um, the, the those that are in government. And today, Bakare believes that if things start working well, if people have jobs, good jobs, they can feed themselves, no kidnapping. That even before now, that nobody was hearing about these talks of uh, um, Ududua Nation. We know they've been talking about Ududua Nation, but it's not been this um, serious. That if things um, get better, if the situation of things get better, if people feel that there is inclusiveness, there is fairness, there is equity, there is justice, Nobody will be agitating for this. It feels that like the North, they, they have control. Even recently that um, South Southern governors placed a ban on open grazing. See the way the Northerners kicked against it, that it's not going to be happening. Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation, and even Senate President Ahmed Lawan, unbelievable their, their reaction, what they said to these um, Southern governors, that um, Southern governors should go and fix their state first before they start asking for uh um these these changes very very it's very very sad well for um sunday go i don't know we know that um what's been said about these two agitations these two groups is that there is no turning back right now regardless of whether they change or they don't change um let everybody go their separate ways i don't know if things change if security situation get better jobs opportunity and uh, good livelihood if um um, Sunday go will we'll drop this agitation as Tunde Bakare has um, stated. But let's hear your own thoughts, what you feel down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.